Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be working on our quad again. And man, you know what? I completely forgot about this thing. We, we tore it apart, trying to figure stuff out, try to fix it, trying to get it going. Ordered parts and the parts took a little bit to come in. And then they did and the weather just went to poop. And I haven't had a chance to get to it, but now I finally do. So we're gonna finish out this whole thing so i made this cool little light that we're going to install we got a new carburetor for it and we're going to be redoing a little bit of wiring for that new light put the carb in and we will be good to go so let's go ahead and get these plastics off first and then I'll show you guys how to do everything else what are you doing So first thing, we gotta get these plastics off. So you gotta take the seat off, which is super easy to do that. But then you gotta take these little uh, body pins, I guess you can call them out. So you gotta take this one out, this one out, these two, those two. There's a, a bolt down there, a bolt down there, a body pin right here, and then the same thing on the other side. But the first step is to remove the gas cap because you do need that removed in order to pull this piece off. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull all those pins out using a little body pin pour. Just a little fork, it'll get in there, pop those guys right out, and then I'll pull off this piece and set it up here, and then we'll pull this side all the way off. All right, so this bolt here is an eight millimeter. Essentially, once we get it broke free, you can spin it out pretty easily. So we'll do this on both sides. So that side, and then over here on this side. I must not have put this one in all the way. Now, if you have your headlight in, there are two bolts. One right there, and one on the other side of the headlight assembly that you'll also have to disconnect um un unplug but we're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and unscrew these two bolts screws to remove the reverse switch that way we can just disconnect the plastic completely all right so now we got those plastics off we can see the carburetor right here and now we're gonna disconnect it so we're going to take this fuel line just pinch that break that seal there and then I'm gonna just stick this up here kind of stick it under there somehow so that it'll stay and be out of the way and then we have another one right here that we can loosen as well prop that one up too and now we can loosen some more all right so with those two things removed now we can go ahead move this wire kind of out of the way i'm going to tuck it up up here that is for the sw uh, switch in the back the light whip will remove this we'll need to loosen that screw there that screw there and then on the other side where the throttle actually cable goes, we we'll need to get into there. So what I'm going to do is loosen all of this stuff over here, bring it over this side because working from this side is a little easier than trying to get in here and reach that screw. And as you can see, that one's kind of already stripped. So this might be a little fun to do, but let's get back over the other side and get right to it. All right, so I just used some pliers to loosen this guy and wrapped it, bent it back to now we're going to get the two screws holding onto the carburetor. 
this one here. That guy should be loose enough. And then this one here that goes to the airbox. So one off the motor, one to the airbox. And then we should be able to wiggle that one off. Get it out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the back as well and just pull this out completely. That'll give us a little extra playroom. So let's get that out. Oh, come on. Maybe I need to screw, unscrew it some more. That should be loose enough. At least I thought it would be. There we go. I needed two hands to get that off there. Now there is a little hose that holds that on, but I don't actually need to take it all the way off. It's super easy to if you needed to. But we are now just going to grab the carburetor and we we'll do it backwards just like that. We'll pull this drain tube up and then we're just going to start working it. There's a hose going to the air box that just slipped off the back here from there. But now we're gonna wiggle this guy all the way over here. Turn it just like so, and now we can easily get to these screws that are almost stripped. All right, so now that we got those three screws out, we can see that this is what we need to remove. So we're gonna have to get this pulled up just like that. And it should be enough to, boom, pop that guy free, pull that out, and now we can loosen this up here and pull the throttle cable out and then get ready to put the new one in. So now we're going to start by feeding the throttle cable back into the throttle area here and get our pin, put that back in and then seal that up let's go ahead and grab those real quick okay so i've got this that we're going to set that little guy right inside of there and then it'll go back all the way around and sit inside there all right after a little bit of fighting we got that in there now we're going to put this o-ring with the small end down towards the bottom we're going to just set that in there just like so and then we'll set this cover on top and put these new screws in all right now I've got the new carburetor wiggled inside of there now I'm ready to connect it here and then we'll put this guy back and connect it there and then connect all our other hoses again all right so now I got our fuel line hooked up our other fuel line this little guy which I'll be honest I don't know what it is but it has a little pin um, this little pin, this little needle inside. So I assume choke, throttle, something like that. Anyways, we've got that line hooked up. We have the air line hooked up. This, I have to buy a new fitting because ours does not fit on the back side of that. So I gotta buy a bigger one to put there, but this will do for right now. For the, for the video's sake, you guys will be able to put yours on, put it back together, put your clamps on there and everything, and then you should be ready to fire your beauty back up after you put those plastics on. 
So if this video helped you guys out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Head over to the Arctic Vet Family YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. Try and hit a thousand subscribers on that channel. Help us out, share it with five friends. Let them know, head over to both channels, check them out. We appreciate you guys, love you each. Have a wonderful evening and a blessed week. We'll catch you in the next video, God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got a fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ